You know, one thing I've been tracking, and I, I put this up from the Wall Street Journal, is the battle between the large hyperscalers, the large language models. So you've got OpenAI separate from Microsoft, right? Linked, but separate. You've got Gemini from Google. You've got XAI. Um, you have Anthropic. And I've been just extraordinarily impressed by Google's march forward. Uh, I don't know if you've been tracking what they've done uh, with their with their latest, you know, you know Gemini 1.5, their Gemini uh, deep research. It's incredible. Yeah, it's unbelievable what this thing can do. This is like the two hundred dollar a month thing. Is, no, well, is it's two hundred dollars a month on ChatGPT. It's twenty bucks a month for twenty Google. bucks on for Google that one. Yeah. Uh, it's it's incredible that you can essentially build. We will now accelerate a thousand times the amount of research and how quickly research gets done. It's going to be incredible. I just I mean so I, I love exciting. going. I love on on Gemini uh, and their deep research being able to go. Okay, this is what I'm interested in. Go and please check on on these and put together a thesis and write a report. And it will go off for 10 minutes to 30 minutes and build a research paper for you. Yeah. Uh, amazing. So I am, you know, one of the challenges with OpenAI is their battle against Elon, who is now in the White House. Um, their battle for... Uh, going from a nonprofit to a for-profit. For-profit, yeah. I don't know. You know, I still loved Google since I first met Larry and Sergey back in 2004. The their company... hearts are, their hearts, like Jeff and like Elon, and their hearts are in the right place. Yeah. Which is so, you know, you had a class of billionaires 100 years ago that were extractionary wealth. Yes. Right? And don't you call them the techno philanthropists in your in the abundance book? And yeah, right? I, talk, the rise I, call of the... About, I talk about you know Larry and Sergey and Eric Schmidt as it's, techno you know, they're, Yeah, I I find it really incredible. If you went back, say two hundred years ago, the richest people in the world had exclusively inherited their wealth, and guarded it jealously, did nothing with it. And today you have people, the richest people in the world, have exclusively earned their wealth, and they're splashing out, changing the world with it. Jeff and Elon, and it's fantastic to see. I think it's such an important pointer to their true uh, human nature of wanting to contribute and wanting to make a difference. And going to that MTP concept we talk about, I, I, I can't say enough about it. And it's really been impressive to watch Google uh, catch up radically and very quickly in, in insert AI into everything they're doing. It's brilliant, brilliant execution. You know, I, I've had a chance to know Elon well over these 25 years and money never enters into the equation. It's always, can I make a better product? Can I achieve my MTP of Mars or sustainable Earth? Yeah. And it's just always about product engineering and creating an amazing product, period. Yeah. End yeah. statement. 